update, 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 update. Back in February, I posted these two videos. One where I went over the science of how onion juice interacts with your hair, and the other where I showed you how to make and use a great recipe. I promised that I was gonna give you an update on how my recipe has been working with my hair. So here it is. I've been using the boil method, mainly because it's easier and faster. I use a small pot so my batch is usually enough for just one use. But if you have any leftovers, you can store it in the refrigerator for about five, maybe seven days. Just smell it to make sure it's not sour. Okay, so here's how I use it on my loose natural hair. I always massage it into my scalp and coat my hair strands with it. The cayenne pepper is gonna heat up your scalp. Everyone has a different level of sensitivity, so if the heat is too much, wash it out with cool water and the next time, reduce the amount of cayenne pepper you use until you get to a level that's still hot, but doable. Sometimes I just wear a shower cap and a thermal cap for an hour or two, or if I'm short of time, I wear a shower cap and sit under a hooded dryer for about 30 minutes. Then I wash and condition my hair as usual. I try to use my onion juice recipe as consistently as possible throughout the months. Some months I used it more than others. Let's go over a breakdown of each month and see how my hair was affected. So this is how my hair started in December. I did an onion juice treatment on January 13th, January 25th, February 6th, and March 5th. I also trimmed my hair on February 21st, and this is what my hair looked like on March 6th. I did another treatment on March 20th, and just one in April, and this is what my hair looked like in April. At this point, it was visibly clear that my hair grew but it also felt like it thickened up a lot. I put my hair in mini twists in May and skipped doing an onion juice treatment. My hair is highly textured, so I'm posting these pictures to show you how much shrinkage I get. But I love it because it's a sign that my hair is really healthy and a reminder that it can do anything. In June, I did an onion juice treatment just once. I went on vacation with a puff like a dummy and experienced a setback. So I had to cut off about an inch and a half of length. But it's cool because haircuts can be refreshing and they make your ends a lot easier to manage. I skipped the whole month of July, but I still took a few pictures of my hair to show you. I didn't take any milestone pictures for the months of August, September, and October because I had my hair in full locks in August and September and I had a medical emergency I was recovering from in October but no worries guys, I'm okay. But I stayed on track and did an onion juice treatment three times in August, three times in September, and once in October. In November, I used the treatment once and took photos. I did the treatment twice in December, and here's what my hair looks like now. I usually trim off about half an inch of my hair three times a year. That comes out to one and a half inches a year. But for 2017, I trimmed off half an inch on February 21st and an inch and a half on June 11th. So two inches in total. But overall, even with the trims, I was able to retain about four inches of length last year. So my hair grew really well with no interruptions. Other than great growth, I noticed that the onion juice treatment helped thicken up my hair. It also kept my scalp really clean and clear of any flakes or dry patches throughout the whole year. I usually have a few gray hair strands and I notice that I have absolutely none anymore and that my hair is a lot darker, almost jet black and super shiny. Overall, the quality of my hair has improved tremendously. It's almost like it's been gradually aging backwards. As I mentioned in the onion juice recipe video, this onion juice recipe I gave you is powerful and it works best if it's used long term. So rather than using it every day for a week and then stopping, try to do it once a week or once every two weeks on your wash days and stick with it long term. This is not a quick overnight fix and it's not something that's gonna make your hair grow 20 inches in one year. 
Your potential daily, monthly, and yearly growth rate is limited by your DNA. As long as you're in good health and you already have a good and consistent hair regimen, this onion juice recipe will further ensure you reach your full growth rate. So think of it as an extra boost. This onion juice recipe is especially worth trying if you're suffering from certain hair loss issues. Here's an example of an actual viewer. She was suffering from crown section thinning for a while. This is what her hair looked like at the end of October. She used my onion juice recipe twice a week for a little over a month. And this is what her hair looked like on December 8th. There's no set regimen you have to follow and you don't have to be perfect. The most important thing is to stick with it and to stay consistent. If you've been using my onion juice recipe for some time, let me know below how it's been working for you. If you want to see more of my hair update pictures throughout the year, follow me on Instagram, at Green Beauty Channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.